Hey you guys, it's Missy Lynn, and today I'm here to review the NYX Cosmetics Concealer in a Pot. And this is the Full Coverage Concealer. And it is a lightweight concealer, a crease-free concealer. But the, the main thing that I wanted to review about it is just basically its quality and also if it can uphold the standards of a higher end concealer. So when I went to iMats, I did come across the concealers and the original price for the concealers are $5.50 and I saw that there was a variety of shades um, being offered. So I was like, okay, well let me take a look at it. I do have a friend that's a makeup artist and she does use the uh, NYX concealers. So I was like, okay, I want to give it a try. It's cheap. It's only, it's originally $5.50 and then we get a discount as well. And the uh, IMAX um, price, it's normally maybe like 40% off, 30-40% off. So I probably gotten it for like three, two or three bucks. But even still, the original price is really, really, really good. So that's one thing that I liked about it because it's real inexpensive. Two is because it had a variety of shades. It had shades from fair to light and then from light to medium, medium to, you know, tan and then tan to dark. And then there were also like the corrector concealers. Um, they had the lavender, they had the orange. There was also, I'm looking on the website now, um, there was also the green and then there was also the yellow. So I was like, okay, but I didn't get the corrector uh, concealer pots. I just bought the concealer in a drawer is like for uh, foundations and whatnot originally there's eight concealers i only got seven because number two was sold out but i was i was thinking i was like i can mix one and three together to make two so I, it wasn't really a big deal you can get eight concealers for 44 dollars, so that's definitely a steal you get six grams of product and the the one thing that i loved about it especially for those who are trying to start a makeup kit is that it makes it really 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 easy to scoop product out of the jar with the little spatulas rather than having something like in a little compact and then it gets like you know really messy and whatnot it makes the product really accessible when you know dealing with clients and it's great for sanitary purposes um, one thing that i do like about it is that even though it is a lightweight concealer it still has a full coverage quality whenever i do wear it out i don't see it like oxidizing like I, it doesn't start to turn color so that's one thing that i love about this uh product number one is porcelain number three is light so these are the two next to each other and number four is beige number five is medium this is five and this is six Six is glow. And if you are around my skin tone, my shade, uh, I am NC45 in MAC. Sometimes, depending on the uh, formula with the MAC foundations, I can sometimes look really, really, really orange, and sometimes it's a really good match. Like, I had to switch my foundations. I don't wear the Studio Fix Fluid anymore because it made me look really orange. But I wear the MAC Match Master in 7.0, as you can see, and it makes me look normal. You know what I mean? I, I'm not orange. Like it, it looks like the rest of my body. You can actually use a concealer one to two shades lighter than you or your skin tone to get a really pretty highlight. And I will attach the video that um, I made in regards to using the NYX concealer as a highlight. So um, this is five and this is six. And then we have six, seven, and eight. Eight is called nutmeg, and seven is called tan. Now, I'm going to focus on tan right now in comparison to the other concealers that I've used. If, if I was to use NYX concealer at all times, it would definitely be tan. It matches my skin tone perfect. It conceals the way I want it to. Just for review purposes, I'm swatching on my hand, but other than that, I would swatch on my chest. So for the NYX Concealer in Tan, I have swatched it here. This is the very first shade right here. And it, it is a pretty good match to my skin tone. So I was very, very, very pleased. And it is quite similar, I kid you not to the MAC Studio Finish Concealer, which is the second swatch here. And I have the 
uh, MAC Studio Finish Concealer in NC45. So if you wear NC45, girl, guy, you can get you something very, very, very similar with the same coverage, with the same qualities for only $5 compared to like what, $14? I have to check the price, I'll list it below. But this one is like $14, I believe, $14 or $15. So yeah, so they're really similar and actually I get a better match with the NYX concealer. Uh, the NC45 can, it, it looks a little bit light but compared to the two I would go with the NYX concealer. And then over here I have my Bobbi Brown concealer and it is slightly more orange but the thing I like about the uh, orangey look to it is the fact that it does help conceal dark circles. So. I'll show you, this is the Bobbi Brown Concealer. This is the MAC Concealer, the middle swatch. And this is the NYX Concealer, the very first swatch. And of course you would never match your concealers based on your hand because your hand tends to sometimes be a lot darker than your chest area and your face area sometimes but just to kind of prove a point you see that you have you know some that blends in more than others as you can see I have swatch by NYX here the MAC swatch here and then the Bobbi Brown swatch here so, so the good thing about these concealers is that they all match pretty well. Over here I have the NYX concealer. This is shade number 7 which is tan. And the retail price for it is $5.50. Now in the middle you have the Studio Finish Concealer by MAC. This retails for like $17. And then over here you have the Bobbi Brown Concealer which averages between $24 and $33 depending on if you get the uh, concealer by itself or the concealer with the setting powder. If you plan on getting the concealer by itself, then it's 24. So you have the high end, which is 24, the second high end brand, which is 17, and then you have the uh, NYX concealer, which is only 550. And you tell me which one blends better. Honestly, by looking in the camera, I can barely, barely see this concealer here. I can still kind of see traces of the MAC and the Bobbi Brown concealer. Bobbi Brown Concealer, it comes with 0 0.06 ounces, meaning 1.7 grams. And so this is a high-end concealer makeup brand. Okay, and then MAC is next in line, and you get 7 grams. And then the NYX Concealer is 6 grams of product with the same consistency, the same longevity. It doesn't crease. And it's only $5.50. So you tell me which one is more of a steal. How would I rate the NYX Concealers? I would give it an A plus because for one, it is fairly cheap, it's fairly inexpensive, and it gets the job done. It has a better uh, matching system uh, when comparing and, and, and matching skin tones. That was something that I really liked about it. I would say that the NYX concealer, it is very, very, very lightweight. It does go on really, really, really smooth and it is blendable. You know how some concealers, you know, even though it may look like your color when you put it on, it's really like hard to blend and you can still kind of see where you have concealer. That's definitely not the case with the uh, NYX concealers. I would say that it lasts through very harsh conditions because I wore it to work, I ran, I was sweating, and it, it was still on my face. So I was like, Wow. Five dollars for full coverage, longevity, great consistency, it's smooth and blendable, and it's inexpensive. Who 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 wouldn't want this? Uh one down downfall that I would say is that it only goes to shade eight. So let's say you went from fairest to light, then medium, tan, then you have like I would say the shade in between medium and dark where I would call them like medium dark <laughs> and then you have dark and then you have deep dark for dark and deep dark it would be really 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 hard to make number eight 
blend in but I would say that if you are a makeup artist you could use these as an alternative and then you could get like other shades in other brands so but you can save money with the first eight shades and then you can also get the color correctors for five dollars a piece as well so I'm like and they're mixable so I'm like that is something that you can't beat in the fact that it's cream it's it's easier to, to move around and to blend and to mix so it, it makes it really 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 easy so that is it for my NYX full coverage concealers in a jar I hope you guys enjoy I hope you guys found this really helpful for those who are looking for low-end but very worthwhile concealers or to those who are thinking about starting a makeup kit and need a really good starting point I would recommend these concealers to be concealers in your makeup kit because I kid you not they get the job done so with that being said I hope you guys enjoy read and subscribe